By the way, I had a bit of lunch and now I'm sleepy. Where can I find a good coffee? <laughs> Hey guys, how are you? This is Natalia from Natalka Design and just like any other day we're scribing. We're scribing again, the world is so open to events, it's nuts. Weekly we have, I think, between, I don't even know, three to five events or something like that, where myself and the team, we go to events, conferences, sessions, workshops, round tables, online virtual events, webinars, you name it, and we capture in real time as people speak key points through visuals so they speak we draw they speak we draw and we've been doing this for over a decade now we're let's say pretty much kind of experienced in that area and we just love it because every time is a new conversation every time is a new event new insights, new people, and it's just so much fun. On that note, today I am going to Welcome Trust, which is an amazing organization um, in London, beautiful building. And in that building, there'll be lovely team from Well Lab and Brink. We'll be working with them today. It will be all about tackling burnout at work. What a timely and interesting event and topic. I have so many <laughs> thoughts around, you know, burnout and well-being and how to work well and long term so that you can do this in a good way for many, many years and enjoy it and give your all and still stay true to yourself and make sure that you're in one piece. So we'll be talking about that and it'll be a lovely morning session, hybrid session actually. So some people will be joining in person, some people will be joining um, online and I will be going in person, getting myself ready. I need to eat something basically as any humans should. And let's just scribe, let's just connect with uh, new wonderful people. Let's capture some key insights. I'm very, very curious what's going to happen, what's going to be said. I'm sure I'll learn a lot. That's the beautiful thing about Scribe. I just learn so much as if I read a new book each time. Let's do this. Enough of me blabbing away. Okay, let's go. Bye. Okay guys, so the thing with these jobs is sometimes I can film, sometimes I can't. But it was a great event. I can show you the, the work done. We've covered a lot of topics. It was super, super interesting, super important uh, messaging around well-being at work and burnout and the numbers are crazy. It costs 39% of people's annual salary to take care of their mental health. If you are running a company or you're in a company where that it, you experience is definitely something that you should be looking into and talking about more and having tools in place that will make this situation better because you know we all want to work we all want to do stuff but if you, we're not happy we're not going to do it for a long time we're not going to do it well but i'm going to show you just like a few little bits and pieces my favorite moments from the event in terms of the, the visuals lovely people lovely space welcome trust is one of these buildings and organizations that is like they're doing meaningful stuff so it's lovely to be here again after ages and work Ninety-nine percent of workers are affected by burnout. Can you relate? Can you not? Tell me in the comments below. Listen to your staff. So if you are watching this and you're running a company or you're managing a team or you're one of the teammates, just always listen to your staff and ask questions. And there was really actually simple things said. Basically, you want to ask people what matters to them and they will tell you. <laughs> Give people freedom. That was so, so big. And um, if you're letting people just do what they what they're here to do, they'll do the best work. Don't put on them any restrictions or anything like that because it's not gonna work. Show compassion, I think this is a very simple one but meaningful because if you don't show compassion, you don't really show that you care and you want to care. People were saying we don't want to be seen as a staff only, we want to be seen as people who work, who care and who are there for a reason. And 
no one size fits all and that's a very good point we can't just give people access to let's say a mindfulness app and hope that that's gonna work and you know figure it out everyone's well-being no not really because everyone's different everyone's needs are different and what they're learning is that no one even has time to open that mindfulness app so how do you approach it and how do you make it personalized to people's needs very interesting one more interesting question I got and I thought I'm going to share. How easy or difficult is it to listen and draw at the same time? Yeah, I haven't been asked that yet. And to me, it's like, yeah, of course it's easy. But then I thought kind of through her lens and I said, you know what? Um, 10 years of experience, I guess, helped. Being always visual and, and studying visual and drawing all my life really helped. Also, when I was studying languages, we did a lot of in real time interpreting. That's type of um, translation. It really um, helped me to connect, I think, all the dots. Visual stuff, visual brain, listening in real time, making sense out of it, and here we go. Basically, I'm with you guys, but I'm not really with you. I'm uh, zoned out and I'm listening for these kind of heartbeats almost of the conversation. That's kind of how I think about describing. My job is to find really interesting moments that can make an impact and engage and make someone remember and connect with it for future so when they look at that scribe after they're like ah oh, yeah i said that or oh yeah that lady said that that was really interesting or oh, okay because she drew that it makes me remember it and reflect and reconnect with it more doing a lot of virtual work uh, it's in person is always different so people come up and always uh, you know have uh, curiosities around it which is super super nice when you draw in real time if you do do that how do you find it do you switch off do you are you in the room what is your experience That was us at working with Well Lab and Bring in London at Welcome Trust. It's a partnership, beautiful organization that's taking care of people's well-being and we were drawing it. Well, this was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this little moment of life scribing at Welcome Trust and you enjoyed uh, coming along with me. I'll see you around. When will I see you around? What's going on next week for another video? Stay tuned, subscribe, show love, share it with your friends, with your teammates, with everyone you know and like and have a lovely day wherever you are. Bye!